Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go Vertical. Right now, we have Mayor Kerry Underwood, Mayor of Tuscumbia, Alabama, to share his Muscle Shoals Boutique Air experience. My wife and I, we were flying from here to Atlanta, which is a very fantastic trip to go from one to the other at such a great rate. In that route, it was just a casual, comfortable environment, which sometimes flying is not casual and comfortable. During that time, we just got to visiting with the pilot and the co-pilot, come to find out that it was a husband and wife team. And it's hard to put into words how that gave us a comfort level, but just knowing that there was a family that was flying the plane, having normal conversations as we were interacting with them, made it feel like home. And for me, this show's area is home, and knowing that there was someone who had that same sort of mentality and that same interaction between husband and wife going from one airport to another gave everybody on that plane, including myself, a comfort level that I really can't put into words. When we say this is boutique air, it's also very unique in that it is very hometown and and personable. And to me, that matters when you're flying. To plan your boutique air experience, go to boutiqueair.com. That's boutique air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. My wife and I sat down with Harlan Mitchell and discussed our own estate planning needs. I know in our experience, Harlan brought up questions that caused us to think about our current situation and what we need to do moving forward. When you sit down with Harlan for your free consultation, you're going to find out things that you may have not thought about when it comes to estate planning. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884 and schedule your free consultation today. Would you like enhanced energy, better moods, less fatigue, help with allergies, better sleep, mental clarity, or just want improvement of your overall immune health and well-being? Do you need to recover from intense activities, workouts, or sports? Then IV therapy at the Drip Factor inside Trinity Medical Center is right for you. Our IV drips are filled with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that will help your body replenish, restore, and achieve your wellness goals. For more information, visit trinity-medicalcare.com and schedule your appointment today at Trinity Medical Center, located at 500 Governor's Drive. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The solid biblical foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. This is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it or I can use it for good. What I do today is very important because I'm exchanging a day of my life for it. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever, leaving something in its place I have traded for it. I want it to be gain, not loss, good, not evil, success, not failure, in order that I shall not forget the price I paid for it. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to The Mark Watch Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is The Mark Watch Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to The Mark Watch Show. My daddy is your host, Mark White. Welcome to another edition of The Mark White Show. I am your host, Mark White. Of course, here on The Mark White Show, we're here to recognize difference makers. 
and share their stories to encourage and inspire us all to make a difference where we can. You've heard her on the Mark White Show before, and right now I have Rachel Elizabeth Williams on the line with me. She is an author, and the first book that I had her on the show about was Just So Baby is Loved However You Meet. And now Rachel has another book that was actually released yesterday, July the 4th, and it was on a very special occasion, what would have been her mother-in-law's 65th birthday. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Rachel Williams. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Oh, so good to talk to you again. Same here, Rachel. I'm excited about this new book. I was excited about the first book that you released. As I said, it was Just So Baby Is Loved, However You Meet, and now you have a book titled Brave. I'm so excited about this one, just because it's something that I think affects everyone and in different areas, which is grieving. Um, I feel like um, everyone, especially with 2020, I feel like a lot of people had lost. A lot of people lost loved ones, whether it was to COVID or it was to other things. A lot of people had to um, give up lifestyles. You had to completely change your lifestyle. A lot of kids had to give up um, their friends um, going out and playing on the playground. They were stuck inside, you know. And so it's not, it's, it's this great loss that we all experience of losing loved ones, but also it can be little sometimes with just simple things like losing a lifestyle. So that's kind of the beginning of what where this book came from, I guess. Speaking of the beginning, when did you actually start putting a pen to paper on this book? Oh, that's a really good question. It was this year. Um, it was after I had my third son, Jack. Um, and it kind of just started falling into, into place. I'm not sure um, <laughs> what, what exactly started it, but um, it was just, you know, wrestling with and thinking about loss and, and grieving and um, just seeing, you know, people pass and seeing my husband grieve. And, you know, he's been grieving for six years. I've been alongside of him. But, you know, in the beginning when his mom first died, you know, it was really apparent when he, you know, he was sad and I was sad and we were together in it. But I think there were just so many times where he would mention later, you know, oh, I was in the shower crying or I was in the shower you know, so upset. And I had no idea. And I think that's just um, one other thing is that a lot of times people are grieving um, or wrestling with something internally, and you just don't even know it. Um, you don't, you don't see it. It's not something that's like out in front. Sometimes it is, especially when someone first dies. Um, I also think of my um, sister-in-law who lost her dad this year. Um, and you know, in their culture, they put on black and they wear black for six months to a year. And so you can see when I see her, I think that reminds me, oh yeah, you lost your dad. And so then you can start conversations with them of like, how are you doing with that? And how are you, um, you know, how are you dealing with your dad being gone and, how, and what's going on? But, but if she wasn't wearing black, uh, unfortunately, a lot of the times I forget just because there's so much going on in my own life with my own three kids that I forget. And so, um, so, you know, and also my, my dad's wife lost her dad this year and my kids were actually went to that funeral and that brought up a lot of questions as well. And I just, just kind of realized that there aren't a whole lot of books out there, especially for kids that deal with um, grief or um, sadness. Um, or anything like that. And so I kind of wanted to start that conversation to see what it would be like to talk to my kids about it. As I think about what you're saying, Rachel, I think about Connie Ridgeway, and I think about the fact that we have continued to keep Connie's legacy alive, and it's very important that we honor and recognize those people that we love and care about. And one of the things that you did that was very special was that you dedicated this book to Cameron, and not by coincidence, July the 4th is Connie's 65th birthday. You released the book on that day and also stated that it was dedicated to Cameron and what he's gone through. I believe that there is some comfort in that to first know that we're continuing to recognize Connie. And then second, mm -hmm. that you think enough of your husband, Cameron, that you wanted to dedicate this book to him to recognize what he has gone through over the past six years. Yes. I mean, for those that don't know, I mean, she was lost in a very horrific, tragic way. You know, she was, she was unfortunately murdered in her own, in her own home. And that has 
you know, I'm sure it's affected Cameron in ways that I will, I will never know. And, um, you know, it's just those things we don't have a control over that we have to give, um, give to God. And, um, it is a process. Um, and it's a lot of times, like I said, it's unseen. Um, but it's, it's something that Cameron, I know, has been going through through the years. And even today, he, he posted again. He doesn't tell me, hey, I was in church and we were singing a song and I started crying. You know, he, later on, I found on Facebook, he posts it. He's a very internal person. So it's hard to, to always tell. And, you know, I'm grieving in my own small way, thinking of, oh, it's so sad that she's not here to see her grandchildren. Not, you know, I just we just had Jack this year and she's not there to hold him. And I... You know, in my small way, I'm grieving, but I know it's so much more huge for him. It's so hard to find ways to honor him in that and talk to him about that sometimes. And this is one way I wanted to do that. Well, people who have heard even Austin and Cameron on the show before, they realize that I graduated with Austin from Lauderdale County High School Back in 1997, I was also a police officer in Rogersville, Alabama, where Connie's life was taken. Now, her life was taken after I was already done at Rogersville. But the fact is, is that in 2015, when this happened on October 23rd, the Mark White show did not exist. But me and Austin and Cameron, family members, we all came together to Mm -hmm. bring justice for Connie. And I can say, Mm -hmm. as I sit here right now talking to you, Rachel, that the Mark White show probably would not exist and at least not exist in the way that it does if it hadn't Mm -hmm. been for that coming together of people to see that Mm -hmm. we needed to recognize difference makers, to see that we needed to share these positive messages Mm -hmm. of unity. That's Mm -hmm. really the foundation of the Mark White show today. Yeah, and that's so awesome. I always think of you, Mark, because I always think I see the things that you share and how you're helping people. And I think, man, that's so awesome that he's able to do that. He was able to find a way to help other people. I mean, that's it's really inspirational. I'm so grateful for all the ways that you highlighted um, Connie's story and got things rolling. I mean, I, I think there was pressure because you were so vocal about it. And I mean, that could be part of the reason why things started moving and rolling with with different aspects of the case. So, so grateful to you, for sure. Well, we've absolutely got to stand up for others. And in all situations, Mm -hmm. when people are struggling and having a difficult time, and it does include loss of loved ones, that we are there to help and that we do step up to the plate to find what their needs are and take care of those needs as we can. Of course, we're talking about your book that was just released yesterday, July the 4th on Sunday, called Brave. And when we come back, Rachel, I want you to share with listeners how they can connect with you, how they can find out more about this special book, Brave, okay? Okay, great. All right, folks, right now we're talking to Rachel Elizabeth Williams here on The Mark White Show. We're talking about her new book called Brave. It was dedicated to her husband, Cameron, and it was released on the day that Connie Ridgway would have turned 65 years old. Those who have followed Justice for Connie, you know about Connie's situation and how much we care about Connie Ridgway. And her legacy continues to live on, and I want to make sure that we include that throughout this edition of The Mark White Show. I hope you'll stick with us as we go to a break. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. I'll do something good today. A little week. A pat on the back, a big old hug, a little laugh. We can make a difference, all we have to do is try. Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life. Let's all do something good today. Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go vertical. 
Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. The best way to buy, sell, and experience land is with Jonathan Berryhill. For your farm, ranch, recreational, hunting, timber, and acreage needs, contact National Land Realty Professional Jonathan Berryhill at 256-874-7354 or email at jberryhill at nationalland.com. Be sure to follow Jonathan Berryhill with National Land Realty on Facebook. This is your land. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. And one smile can make a difference. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. 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 Someone loves you. I do. to the city works extra hard all day finishes up early so he can get away cause there's a blue eyed kid on second base wants dad to watch him play daddy knows he's waiting welcome back so to the mark white show i am your host mark white and right now I do have on the line with me Rachel Elizabeth Williams. Now, on her Facebook, her author page is Rachel E. Williams. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Rachel. Thank you so much, Mark. We're talking about this special book called Brave. You talked about how it was dedicated to your husband, Cameron. We talked about Connie Ridgeway, and we've talked about loss and the pain that people go through and the experience that they have. And you even mentioned that some people, it's internal. And it stays internal. And some people, it's external. And we have to be mindful of the person that we're dealing with and the experience that they're having because everybody does not grieve the same. Yes, that's very true. I also am I'm reminded of, yeah, for, for Cameron, it's been very internal. Um, I have some friends who um, actually the same year that Connie died, um, their their father passed away. Now, he was actually... Uh, my pastor when I was a kid. So, and I was friends with them, very close to them. Um, he struggled with alcoholism um, after his church split up. It was a very just hard situation, ended up passing away. Um, and they, they, part of the book comes from something that they started doing. Um, and I think that's something I wanted this book 
to kind of encapsulate as well is that there are ways that you can deal with it if you're struggling with it internally. First most is to give it to God. First most is to, you know, include him in your conversation however you can. Um, and there's also other ways. They, every year, so his birthday is actually coming up. It's in three days on July 7th. And they write um, notes to him on a balloon. And then they release it to the sky. Um, just like little messages like, Dad, I wish you were here. You know, whatever they whatever they want to say. And they release it. And I thought that is such a beautiful way to express your loss, to let it go, to be able to write it down. Um, and, and all of that. And so that's kind of included in the book as, as a way, um, but it's more incorporated into writing a message to God. So you could, you know, write this message, even journaling, you know, saying, God, I'm struggling with this and including him in the conversation so he can come and start healing, you know, inviting him in. Um, so that's one thing they do. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to, to do that, you know, to write a message um, to, even to God and say, you know, here, God, I'm struggling. I miss, I miss my, my mom and, and then release the balloon or whatever into the air, you, you know, you could do it physically, you could do it in your, in your heart or whatever. But, but yeah, it's true. Some people struggle out, outwardly and some inwardly with, with this idea of loss. It also became very personal to you last month when you had a child who was in a bicycle accident and it could have been oh, much goodness. worse than it was. And I realized that. <laughs> and I know that as this book was about to come out, that touched you in a special way too. Oh, it did. I mean, yeah, last uh, month, my worst nightmare actually <laughs> seemed to come true. Um, where my daughter went over a bridge. We were coming back, back from the park and she was on her bike. You know, it was a bike that we had ridden before, but um, it was just a little bit too tall for her, but not too much. And just went off the sidewalk over a bridge. And in that moment, I mean, it was trauma. I mean, seeing your daughter, you know, fall and bleeding and you don't know what the injury is. Um, and, and adrenaline just kicked in, went down, picked her up, you know, just her down on this rock, jagged rock, you know, just went down as fast as I could, picked her up and started screaming. And nobody heard me. And I had my baby boys with me. And so, um, you know, she's gushing blood. And um, I don't, you know, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure if I should have picked her up at that point, you know, but I just knew that she was down beside a bridge, beside water, and I needed to get her safe. So, you know, we're just screaming. And I actually called out to Jesus. I said, Jesus, help me. And immediately this boy who was cutting grass heard me and he came over and said, can I call 911? And I said, yes, please call 911. So, um, he called and all these people stopped and were just, I mean, in those moments when you need someone and you call out to God, you know, he sends people to, um, to be there and to help. And, and there were so many people that stopped that just were willing to do whatever before the ambulance got there. And thank God, yes, yeah, she had a helmet on. And so her head did not get hit. She did not lose consciousness. Um, it was just a broken nose and a broken arm. And it could have been so much worse. And I really believe this because God protected her. Um, now, in the moment, I was like, well, how could this happen? God, what is going on? But afterwards, you realize, man, it could have been worse. Thank you, God, that it was not worse and that you were looking out for us. But it was, yeah, it was scary. <laughs> and how, Rachel, did you connect that, that personal experience in that moment to the book Brave? Um, I guess I just realized that um, there's just different things that, you know, I, I struggled a lot um, with it at first because I felt so, you know, guilty that was my fault. And, um, and then I started realizing that, you know, there's different ways to cope with it. So I just started, instead of like writing it down, I, I just talked it out with people um, and started talking to my closest friends and family and just processing it. And I think a lot of, um, I think that's kind of what I want the book to, to promote is that, you know, process this grief, process this loss, um, that you don't have to struggle alone. That um, another thing is, you know, that sometimes we don't have the words. That's one of the th lines in the book. Um, something similar to that is that you just sometimes don't have the words, but you don't have to, you don't have to say it out loud. You know, sometimes having someone sit beside you, and grieve with you and um, just be there. They don't have to say anything because a lot of times there aren't the words. When, you, when someone's lost a loved one, even if you say, oh, I know, I know how that feels. Well, no, you probably don't. It's probably a little bit different for you, but you can be there for them and say, you know, I don't know what it's like, but it's, 
you can say what you know whatever you need to say but also just sitting there with them is one of the most powerful ways you can grieve with someone i can tell you rachel grief and loss has definitely affected me firsthand with the amount of family members that i have lost and as we mentioned connie ridgeway passed away in 2015 that was october 23rd so austin and cameron lost their mom and then the next year on september the 5th 2016 I lost my dad. And then in 2018, I lost my grandmother who raised me. As you start to lose those people who loved you, who cared about you unconditionally, it does take Mm -hmm. its toll because you are looking around and you're thinking, where are my people? It hurts Mm -hmm. because you long to see them again. You long to be with them. And so there's an internal pain because you know something's missing that you feel like should actually be here beside you. Yes. Yes, I completely understand. I mean, I don't completely understand. I, I I know how it feels from my perspective, and I know that there's many times where it's, it's just like, you know, Connie should be here for this. You know, she should be able to see her her children, her grandchildren, you know, hit these milestones. She should be here to see um, her son, you know, be a great father to his children and great, great husband to his wife, you know, and we know that those that believe, though, you know, they are part of the great cloud of witnesses, I believe, and they are seeing, and someday we will see them again, and that gives us great hope, but for the time being, it's, it's hard. Well, I do want to give listeners an opportunity to find comfort and peace, and I hope that they will look into this book that you have now released called Brave, and I want you to be able to share how you want people to connect with you, Rachel, and how they can get the book Brave. Yeah, Sure. Brave is available on Amazon. If you search, there's a lot of Brave. I mean, there's Disney did a Brave. So, but if you do, if you search in Amazon Brave by Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L Williams, um, then it does pop up as um, either the first or the second. um, And it's it's on there. Also, you can find me. I have an author page, Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L-E Williams, or just you can try to friend me on um, uh, at Rachel Elizabeth Williams, but again, Rachel's R E C H A E L, and Elizabeth is E L I S A B E T H. Um, and I'd love to to be your friend and talk to you and connect with you if you haven't done that already. I also just want to say, you know, I in an honor of <laughs> of helping other people that it's really easy these days to publish a book. I mean, there are so many ways to be an indie author. Um, and if you are looking into that, I would love to help you. I would love to. Um, connect with you and, um, you know, show you, show you the ropes if you don't know, or give you some websites to look into, or just even brainstorm ideas if you have an idea, but not sure how to come about with it. Um, Cause I don't want, you know, everybody thinks like that I'm so special for writing a book because these days it's really easy to be an indie author. So if you have, if you want to, you can email me too at um, Rachel, R-A-C-H-A-E-L dot uh, Elizabeth, E-L-I-S-A-B-E-T-H dot Williams at Gmail. Um, so you can connect with me there. You could PM me on, um, on Facebook or, or whatever, and I'll, I'll talk to you about that. So just let me know. And now you have two books to your credit, correct, Rachel? Yes. So I want people to check out again, just so baby is loved. However you meet, which is the first time that I had you on the Mark White show. And now the book called brave. And again, for people that need the spelling to find Rachel E. Williams, that's R A C H A E L, the letter E, and Williams. You can find her on Facebook. She has an author page, and then also check out Amazon, the book Brave, and that's Rachel E. Williams. You can find it there. Rachel, it's always a pleasure to have you here on the Mark White Show, and even to be able to recognize Connie Ridgeway and to continue her legacy moving forward. And just know that I love your family very dearly. And anything I can do moving forward, please let me know. The Mark White Show is always here to help. Thank you so much, Mark. You've been such a great help. It's such an honor to speak with you and talk to you. And thank you again. Folks, we've been talking to Rachel E. Williams. She has released the book Brave. I hope you will check it out. If you're grieving, if you've lost someone that you care about deeply, I want you to check out this book. And 
It is a children's picture book, but it's also for adults. Rachel did a question and answer on her page, on her Facebook page, Rachel E. Williams. You can go to that and find out more information. There's no way that you can't find this book if you go to Rachel E. Williams. Again, that's R-A-C-H-A-E-L, the spelling of Rachel. And I hope that you will check this out. You know here on the Mark White Show, as I alluded to at the very beginning, we're here to recognize difference makers and share their stories to encourage and inspire us all. As I said, if you have someone that you have lost that you care deeply about, I know what you're feeling in that emptiness that you feel, and I hope that you will share this show with your friends, your family, and your neighbors, and let them know about the Mark White Show and what we're trying to do to make a difference in our communities. You can also follow the Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and subscribe to the Mark White Show podcast via Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, YouTube, and TuneIn Radio. You have been listening to another edition of The Mark White Show, and this is Mark White, encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack's Barbecue. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett and Arlington. Try the barbecue chicken, beef brisket sandwich, barbecue potato, it is huge, or the Baby Jack Trio, pork, turkey, or beef brisket sliders. You like wet ribs? They like dry ribs. Get one slab that has them both. Catering? Baby Jack's can feed a family or an army. Drive in, drive through, order online, or come in and set them in. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett at Highway 70 in Appling or in Arlington at Highway 70 just a block west of 385. Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Please consider joining us at ABS next year, or give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A, Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Located in Tuscumbia, Alabama, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame honors Alabama's music achievers. You can even go into the recording studio and try out your talents as a singer. That's the Alabama Music Hall of Fame located at 617 Highway 72 West in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 256-381-4417. Check them out on the web at alamhof.org. You hear me, people, when I say, well, let's all do something good today.